What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel after sound here bringing you Splinterlands content every single day We also stream right here in the channel every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday morning So come by and say hello. All right guys We have completed the June 11th 2024 maintenance window and the big announcement is we have the wild season permit Incoming very shortly now obviously we're still in the middle of the season I believe there's a little bit under four days to go So this upcoming Saturday is going to be when the first wild permit is going to be charged in order to play in wild Now they have an announcement here with a couple more details So the SPS taking requirement uh, has doubled and that is actually already live now So by the time you're watching this video, you'll notice that that is already the case now What's interesting is that this doesn't necessarily impact uh, well, you know, it, it's, it's going to have a major impact right away because the more you have, right, the higher it scales up. And so therefore, if you're higher along that curve versus a lot of the bots that may just be renting the minimum or, you know, accounts playing with bronze level cards or whatever. I, I know it's not a cards thing, but it's just like br uh, bronze level cards or level one cards and the bare minimum SPS. This is going to have an impact where a lot of the higher level accounts or the level accounts that have significant more SPS should start to draw in more. And that will start to filter down over time, especially once all of the low-level bot cards, or bot farms, I should say, using low-level cards, are removed. Or if they decide to stay, they'll be paying in to the wild season permit. Um, now, as I said earlier, the pass requirements won't be activated until the beginning of the next season, which is going to be the midpoint of June. The cost is going to be 40 vouchers or 2000 DEC, DECB or credits. Uh, and then you will not be able to purchase the season pass before the season begins. However, you will need it before you, uh, your first battle. So keep that in mind. They did have a couple of other things in here, uh, a couple of other, we'll just say quality of life uh, updates. So land card placement. If you've ever accidentally misclicked and taken one of your one of your cards out, and then all of a sudden it's subjected to a three day cooldown and you lose out on that production, that no longer is something that you should fear. They've introduced a new feature that allows you to put the same card back on the same plot if you accidentally remove it. So no more worrying about misclicks. The SL market balance looks like it's being moved off the blockchain into a system account, and they do provide a link here where you can go and check that account. But I wonder. I, this is probably going to mess up a couple of things with uh, Splinter cards and anywhere or and, and peak monsters. So hopefully they'll be able to adjust that relatively quickly. Uh, conflicts update. We've added the projected minimum amount of cards you should receive if you do not change anything on your mage wagon. So that's actually kind of cool. Mobile team creation. We've made some changes to the mobile team creation screen to enhance the experience based on feedback. So some more UX stuff for people playing on mobile to make that experience better. And then the battle update. We've updated modern to the default format when you log into the game. Looks like they had some other changes as well. I'm not going to go through that in the docs. The main thing is that the wild season permit is here, or I should say is coming, uh, it is here in the sense that it is already coded into the system and should be implemented very soon. And, you know, I, I know whether you agree with it or not, whether you like it or not, I think one thing that the team has showed uh, quite well this year, so I want to give kudos where they're deserved, one thing that they've shown quite well is the ability to pivot and implement things relatively quickly. And if you go back through this year, right? At the beginning of the year, at that first town hall, I don't think any of us expected the new player experience to include an overhaul of ranked. We knew that there was a new player experience coming, but an overhaul of ranked, an overhaul of the reward system, right? That got announced, that was put out within a couple of months of that announcement. And then even more so, all of the adjustments, right? It's just like, oh, we want, uh, you know, rarity draws or we want chests or we want this and that, right? Like the team has been great about getting feedback and implementing it. So I know there's a lot of salt out there. I know that there's a lot of whatever. And, you know, people are probably going to point to this and be like, oh, well, you're just trying to give the team whatever. I, I mean, yeah, I am trying to give the team. <laughs> I'm trying to give the team kudos because I think if you look at things objectively this year, and I know there's a lot of baggage coming in from previous years, but if you look at things objectively at where things are at right now, you know, again, from a team delivery standpoint, not from, you know, the, the rest of the crypto market standpoint, uh, it's been it's been fantastic from from uh, you know just a, a pivoting and implementation so i'm really excited to see once new player experience is complete in their eyes right in terms of like getting the one click set rentals uh and then the uh, the onboarding tutorial system that they were working on once they're able to get that out 
it kind of gets me very excited to see, okay, if we have ideas about land, and I, I've had ideas about land, right? I've tried to put them out there so people can poke holes or expand on them. But if we have ex- ideas about land or game modes or things that, you know, could be easily and quickly implemented by the team, you know, we, we may get to a point where that stuff is coming in a lot faster than we expect. And the team will have some maybe longstanding projects that they work on, but a lot of the things that they're building it's exactly what we all wanted or what we all signed up for, you know, two, three years ago when it's just like we were having those weekly town halls. But now instead of, you know, the team having this overarching thing and, and communicating with us a lot, they're communicating with us, uh, you know, well, still regularly enough, not maybe not through town halls, but they're, they're communicating regularly with us, getting feedback and then quickly turning that around to add that back into the game so that we can we can all benefit and enjoy it, right? So I, I don't know. It gets me excited. Maybe not for the next couple of months, right? But definitely, I, I don't know why I keep pointing to like Q4 and beyond, right? But that maybe that's part of like when the, the rest of the bull run I'm expecting to hit on a major way. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Just wanted to let you know that that is coming sooner rather than later. So if you have been fearing it, well, continue to cower in fear. The uh, the wild pass is, or wild permit is here. And if you've been looking forward to it like myself, I am very curious to see what kind of impact that'll have on the bot farms, on the amount of rewards that come out, on the player base. I mean, there's so many things that this is going to impact. And then finally, the economy, right? All of those things combined, and then you, t- you take the impact overall on the economy the amount of DEC and vouchers getting burned, the potential amount of SPS that starts to get burned if we can, uh, you know, churn through all of that extra DEC. A a lot of really good things, in my opinion, that are coming. We're not there yet, and we may be in for way more pain before that actually happens. But in a way, like I said, I'm trying to take the six-month, 12-month, 18-month view on this that aligns with the bull run post-Bitcoin halving, which again, was just two months ago, right? So, uh, if, if we can look at it in that lens, I think that there's still a lot of time for the team to get the ship on course with the rest of the market, with Bitcoin, and ride this wave up. It's not going to be easy, and it's definitely not guaranteed, but a lot of the, the, the quick changes and quick hits and focusing on what is it the people want now, right? Um, while still maintaining a long-term vision, but focusing on what people want now and responding to that in game, in comments and all this stuff, I think has been fantastic. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.